Hey guys, this is Tech Zero Stickies Glue, and today I'm going to show you how you can do the lag fix to make your Galaxy S super duper quick so that all apps open instantaneously and it just makes it really, really nice, really quick and smooth, and pretty much just makes this the super phone that it should be. So, oh dear, and I'm about to run out of battery. So, the first thing you need to do is root your device if you're not rooted and you don't know how to do that. There's a link here to my routing video, and you should do that. Then the second thing you need to do is go to the link in the bottom bar and download the update.zip file and put that on the root of your internal SD card, which again, if you don't know how to do it, look at my routing video. Um, and the root of the card just means that it's not on a folder, so it's just on the internal SD card. Second thing is to make sure you've got about a gigabyte or 512 megs free on your internal SD card. I strongly suggest having gigabyte free just because that partition will be much quicker. So when you've done all those prerequisites, just turn your phone off and boot it into the recovery, which if you don't know how to do that, you hold the volume up key, the home key and the power key all at once. And I'm just going to let those lights die before I do it. Come on. There we go. So we'll boot into recovery and as soon as the Samsung logo pops up, you let go and it should boot itself into the recovery mode there you go and using the volume keys you can navigate the options you need to go to the second one down which is apply SD card colon update dot zip and you hit the home button to apply that I'm not going to do it because I've already applied it and I don't want to reapply it over itself but you should do that and then it should automatically reboot you so I'm just going to manually reboot but you don't do this you simply navigate to apply SD card update dot zip and hit the home key and it will reboot the phone for you and then when you're rebooted you need to do one other step which I'll show you as soon as this is rebooted so I'll just let this boot because at the moment if I edit video it seems to trash the quality because Windows Live Movie Maker is utter rubbish And you will notice that for some reason my boot screen is gone. I have no idea how that happened. I think it may have been I accidentally rooted myself twice and then tried to unroot whilst doing something and the battery died or some weird thing. So I had to wipe everything to actually fix the phone, which if anything does go wrong doing this, um, like if the power goes off through something, you should just be able to wipe the phone from the recovery and you will lose all your data and settings. But you can reinstall everything again for free, obviously and it shouldn't take too long but that should just be an easy fix if you happen to run into problems like if you, your phone runs out of power or something or you do something weird but if you follow this guide you, nothing should go wrong I'll also put step by step guide in the bottom bar because that seems to help some people and we'll just let this thing hmm, should probably plug it in just let this thing do the internal check thing with the media because if you don't let it to do that it tends to go mental which is probably the only bad thing with the phone at the moment but it does seem to make album art and stuff load much quicker which is quite nice so just unlock it and I'll let that do its thing here we go so you go into your applications tray he says you go into your applications tray Okay, you get your applications tray and when they've all loaded. Is that no? I think I've got a couple of others to load. Here we go. I've got an obscene amount of apps on this at the moment. Right, and then you need to find the app that looks like a green dog bowl called MCR Script, so the light bulb in it. And you tap on that. And if you're doing the gigabyte free, hit the top one. The 512 free, hit that one and if you want to remove it you hit that one so I suggest the top one if you've got enough memory so you hit that and then it'll take you to a console and you literally don't have to do anything else everything is automated for you it'll say partitioning card, no something along the lines of partitioning 1GB internal SD card this may take a while dot 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 you just need to let that run through um, I suggest don't touch it while it's doing that like put it down go make a cup of tea or something just let that run through and it'll run through loads of different options 
that again you don't have to click anything it'll take do everything for you and it'll eventually say like all done or complete and then you can hit the home key and take you back to your home screen and then you should go to the market and install the app called if I can find it quadrant standard and then you run through that and I'll just show you it to show you how quick this thing is so you run this and this will basically tell you how quick your phone's running and it'll be very very easy to tell if the lag fix has worked because without the lag fix it runs at about 800 which is reasonable but if you see how quick this thing runs after the lag fix you'll probably be quite impressed so you can see it's got a little FPS counter and a little frame counter in the bottom just keep your eye on that So there's one more test after this planet one. I think this is by a developer who might be based off XDA developers. So if you want to go check his work out, I think you can over there. Okay, you just hit yes. You need connection for this. Okay, so you can see you've got the HTC Magic sort of lagging at the bottom. Moto Droid, Sony Xperia X10, HC Desire, Nexus One, Samsung Galaxy S topping that pile. We then have the Motorola Droid X, the Nexus One running Froyo, and way above that, you've got my device now, now with that hack running 2124, which is significantly more than it was before. It's almost triple what it was before. It's almost double Droid X, and I mean that's pretty impressive. So, yeah, you should now have that running. It'll speed everything up no end. It's a really, really nice lag fix. It's much better than like overclocking on the Hero ever was. It just makes everything super snappy, super responsive. And yeah, so it's a really nice way to speed your phone up. And you'll definitely, definitely not regret doing this because it's just so quick and so easy. So if you've got any issues, just comment or PM me. Obviously, if it's your first video you've seen of mine, please subscribe as I will have a lot more out. And this has been Texas Seekers Glue. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.